TV Morning Live as we are live where you live at the uh, Canadian Legion Branch 517 in Petawawa. You know, the history behind this isn't necessarily all about the base. Uh, joining us from the Petawawa Heritage Village, we have Anne, we have George, we have Richard. Great to have you guys on the show. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, you know, as I mentioned, I, I came to you saying, okay, history, base related, and you say no, not at all. Tell no. me about it. No, um, Petawawa was actually founded in 1865. And uh, the history that we depict at our Petawawa Heritage Village is from 1865 until 1915. And the military didn't come here until 1905, so we kind of got a little jump start on them. Uh, most of the history of Petawawa revolves around uh, uh, the rivers and the lumber camps. And uh, uh, it, it's just, it's got a whole history of German and French and uh, Irish, there's there's a whole subculture of things going on here, and it's just wonderful. So uh, a huge logging community, and you've been able to do it at the village with eight buildings, eight structures, and yes. then each of them have a, a different meaning behind them, or yes. within them. Yes, we have uh, 3.5 acres on Civic Centre Road, and we have an 1893 schoolhouse where we run our pioneer uh, program for the children in the local area. And then we have the Molson House, and it is a, a German uh, family that settled here. And we have a, the St. John Lutheran Stable, and part of that is our carpenter shop where George resides. And we have a working blacksmith shop, and uh, next to it we have what a new building, the pole barn, where, and that's where Richard has his hit and miss engines. And we depict uh, uh, the first uh, fur trade and uh, voyageur, courier de bois, out of the lo uh, trapper's cabin, where we have lots of furs and interesting things. It sounds like there's quite the, the, quite the adventure, especially for people to go and visit. And so you, you're doing uh, some of the engineering in that. Is it the, pup, pup, <laughs> the hit and miss? How does that the work? Hit, hit and miss engine. Well, it's an old gasoline engine, single, single uh, cylinder engine from the turn of the century. And if they... Uh, it, they're run by a governor, not by a throttle like a car or modern engines are. It's run by a governor and they'll, they'll fire and then they'll coast for a while until they need more speed, more power, and they'll fire again and they just hit and miss like that. They keep going like that and just run forever. Uh, is it fun to be able to explain it to people, to show it, you know, how things were once done? Oh yes, uh, the, especially the children, they really enjoy it. Yeah. When we have school tours through. I can imagine, you're probably really busy. What is it like for you to step into character and, and be a part of this? Well, I'm, as uh, the village carpenter, uh, our shop is all, all the tools that we have are all hand, hand used. There's no electrical tools and uh, we get a chance to really show the children how it was in, in the old days. And uh, some of them are quite amazed. Uh, we have a lot of the, uh, the toys that were used in the 1800s. And amazingly, when the power goes off, they still work. And, uh, <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. How amazing and the is kids that? Are, the kids find it excellent. Uh, I built uh, this year a spring pole lathe, and I've allowed, uh, I made it small so that we could let the kids from the school use it. Uh, without you know yeah. being dangerous to them and they love it they think it's just great it, it's a, a wonderful opportunity so there's, the, there's that education aspect and there's also the aspect of having the tourists coming in right you, season's winding down though right now is that yes, right Anne? It is. Um, we have a, a harvest uh, day coming up because we had a garden grown by the by the young people at the site this oh, wow. summer so we're going to have a harvest day We've got a lot of vegetables to sell <laughs> and uh, herbs and things that they grew. And we're also going to have something new this year. It's called a pumpkin light. And after Halloween, the children bring their pumpkins to the site and they place them wherever they want to put them. And then on November the 5th, they'll come over and we'll light them all up and they, oh. their families can walk around and, and take a look at all everybody's craft that they did with their pumpkin. Oh, wonderful opportunity. So keep uh, in mind you have the pumpkins going on on November the 5th and yeah. you also have the big harvest of all of the, uh, oh, all yeah. the veggies and stuff that have been grown up. From the, oh, from and the it's stuff. amazing how well they did. We've got well, so much stuff to sell. But, so uh, I, 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 gotta, I gotta throw to a commercial break, but it okay. seems like there's uh, tons of stuff that are going on. Thank you so much for sharing uh, what all happens right. at the Petawawa Heritage Village. Uh, we're going to take a quick look inside. I believe people are really starting to get down on their eggs. I don't know if it's scrambled, if they're sunny side. Different opportunities. Six dollars for breakfast, three dollars for the kids. Come down and support the Legion. We're back with CTV Morning Live right after this.